Weather Now with Jenny Woodward and that's a stunning photo, Jenny. Isn't it gorgeous, Jess? Brian took this last night at Mooloola Bar where he watched the moon rise after a beautiful sunset. And Melissa was up early this morning to catch this colourful sunrise at Woody Point. And there was just one lonely cloud in Victoria's expansive view across to the Glasshouse Mountains, while out in Western Queensland, Pammy spotted a storm when she was visiting Coniston Station near Windora recently. And thanks for the photos, everyone. Well, as well as the showers on the southern coast. We've also had some showers and storms about the far north today and also some very isolated storms over the central west of the state. Now the temperatures have been close to average, 37 in Longreach, 39 in Urundangi and Mount Isa and Applethorpe the coldest this morning on just 12 degrees. We had tops of 27 to 29 in and around Brisbane today and currently 24 degrees in the city. Let's look at the satellite and first off let's take a look at this system here. It's not tropical cyclone Billy that we had last week but indeed another tropical low and it's likely that it will develop into a cyclone by morning and be called Charlotte so the West Australian coast keeping a close eye on that system but we've also had showers and storms today of course up in the tropics and here's our cloud over the interior and that's the line that brought the showers to the coastal fringe today. Interstate tomorrow 27 the top for Adelaide and Melbourne and 25 for Sydney they're all mostly sunny. Let's take a look at the chart and we've still got a firm ridge along the coast so a few showers in that. Inland this is a pretty weak trough system so just those isolated showers and storms but there are some upper systems coming through and that could give us an increase in some shower and storm activity as it makes its way east later in the week. Now let's check forecasts and there'll be showers and storms across most northern districts but more likely on the Cape, 32 for Weeper and Thursday Island. Staying sunny in the goldfields in the upper Flinders region, 34 in Charters Towers and it'll be sunny in central parts, 34 for Emerald. And it'll be fine and mostly sunny across all of the southern and central interior, 35 the top in Roma and Charleville. Some early fog about the southeast corner with coastal showers possible in the Wide Bay area, 30 expected in Meribra. And there'll be some early fog in western parts of Brisbane too, but then a sunny day, 29 in the city, Logan and Bow Desert. On Moreton Bay, south southwesterlies, they'll turn east southeasterly through the afternoon afternoon up to 20 knots by evening. Not much change until the end of the week when we could see a few showers and there could even be a thunderstorm on Friday, Jess. It just depends on the timing of that trough system. All right, thanks Jenny. Someone might send you a fog photo this week. That is ABC News to the moment. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.